to their beleaguered health care website tonight. I am happy to report progress. The latest change is strictly cosmetic. That smiling woman on the homepage is gone. Gone! Get out! Get rid of that smiling lady! Although I'm not sure the new homepage is an improvement. I think that's... Uh... <laughs> today talking about just how the leg swing should go. We're bored. Please tell me that is not the only change that they are making to the site. The Obama administration's promising it'll be largely problem-free by the end of November. We've got people working overtime 24-7 to boost capacity and address these problems every single day. And let me be perfectly clear. These people will not be given breaks. <laughs> Many of these people are children. They will get this right. You know, I do, I do think, I do think, you like that? I do think I may have spotted one of the problems affecting why the healthcare.gov site is so slow. Apparently, their servers are now currently being overloaded by newscasters <laughs> from every single network trying to log on. And no network has been loggier than our pals at CNN who want you to know they have a clock. We're almost 13 minutes in and she has been locked out time and time again. Maybe some making progress. The others are uh, going slow and slower. Now one person is reaching out to get some help online. We're going to find out almost halfway into our live uh, Obamacare sign-up uh, effort. So far, we're seeing a little bit of progress, some serious setbacks. You, you see the options. You may like the options. I you just don't options. know if you're in yet or you can make it work. You love, you love the options. Yeah. Are you happy with it? Absolutely. Right. Let's move over to Gabe here. Gabe? Uh, it's it's uh, not very streamlined. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of a lot. Um, it's a lot to sort through for my first time on this website. Hey. Plus, there are cameras and a ticket clock, and you motherfuckers are breathing down my neck. I love how the one lady goes, I love the options. And he's like, you love them? Let's go talk to Gabe. I don't want to hear about what's really in the thing. Let's talk to Gabe. The only thing more disturbing than signing up for healthcare.gov is apparently watching people try and sign up for healthcare.gov. We're watching these people try to sign up for Obamacare live right here in the Situation Room. <laughs> Wow. From that woman's reaction, you'd think people were into a cup or something. That was, that was weird how she reacted to people trying to sign up for a website. Anyway, the Obama administration has promised the site will be fixed by the end of November. But just in case it's not, no worries. The House Energy and Commerce Committee will hold a hearing this morning about problems with the government's new health care website. Congress. <laughs> is on the case. <laughs> Who better to fix this than, than Congress? In fact, not just Congress, the committee whose second-ranking Democrat entered Congress four years before the 1959 invention of microchips. I remind my colleagues that the last perfect law came off the top of Mount Sinai with Moses written on a stone tablet by the hand of God. And I was there. <laughs> nice guy, Moses. Never made good on that milk and honey thing. But yeah, that's good people. That's not fair. This committee, I'm sure, includes people with the proper expertise. Being a computer science major from Rice University and a former naval, naval aviator. Computer science major, former naval aviator. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> who could not afford to have my computer drop offline as I'm rolling in my plane to drop a torpedo to stop Russian submarine from launching ballistic missile, nuclear missile, at our country. I think that guy just used the plot for the hunt for Red October to slag healthcare.gov. What? Anyway, let's move on to someone else. Representative Joe Barton of Texas, well known for wanting America, this is true, to apologize to BP for getting our beaches on their oil, I guess. Bart 
Biden had concerns beyond the website's efficacy. How in the world can this be HIPAA compliant? With HIPAA is designed to protect the patient's privacy, and this explicitly says in order to continue, you have to accept this condition that you have no privacy. No, that, that is an interesting point. My guess is that it's HIPAA compliant uh, because the website doesn't ask you for actual health information. So, I, you know what? I wonder if there's another congressperson, perhaps a Democrat, who's so sick of this <laughs> and this guy <laughs> that he answers the question but cannot hide his utter contempt <laughs> for Joe Barton's willful ignorance. HIPAA only applies when there's health information being provided that's not in play here today. No health information uh, is required in the application process. And why is that? Because pre-existing conditions don't matter. So once again, here we have my Republican colleagues trying to scare everybody. Well, the gentleman will yield. No, I will not yield to this monkey court or whatever this thing this is. This is not a monkey court. Whatever. My favorite part of that clip, other than the rhythmic Try Delt. The rhythmic Try Delt just had enough of these punters head rolling. Whatever. If you can't handle the refreshments, Darlene, you can't be on the refreshments committee. It's, I don't know if you heard it because you were laughing too hard, the off-camera congressman's plaintive and insistent denial back at this guy that this is not a monkey court. It's just not. <laughs> monkey court, of course, was my 1990s MTV courtroom reality show. <laughs> By the way, I still don't know why I was the one who had to wear the diaper. Anyway, <laughs> monkey court notwithstanding, there was one issue that Republican Congressman McKinley of West Virginia wanted to get to the bottom of. I haven't heard one of you apologize to the American public. Are apologies not in order? I've not heard the word, I'm sorry. I don't understand why there's not an apology to the American public. What sort of wizardry is this? <laughs> They're multiplying. <laughs> For that part, Democrats did not so much offer website difficulty reasons as much as website difficulty rhymes. Let's the goal here be to fix it, not nix it. Work together to fix it and not nix it. We have to fix it, not nix it. Fix it, don't nix it. Fix it! Do not nix it! Correct it! Do not reject it! Debug it! Please do not unplug it! Improve it! Don't remove it! 